Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just so thank you for the love and support. You standing by my side spiritually, helping each other guide towards our journeys and towards our blessings of having a better life so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when when your girl's going to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some rough patches right now that needs validation and confirmation towards the things that they're going towards their life, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support and that you're giving me and my channel. And I hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to this powerful meditation, and yet it says powerful. Most powerful music for penal gland activation ever made. Binaural Beats Meditation Third Eye. So I will be posting that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101 shifts that we are feeling are descending our past trauma. And I will post that link in the description box below as well. Why am I saying the description box below? You already know the title is going to be there. Hold on. Pause for the cause. Y'all. Said the other TV was clenched. Wow. I My bad, y'all. I had to turn the TV down in my living room. It was like clashing with me. But yeah, is um all these emotions we're feeling right now is just like from the equinox shifts of the moon. Um, what is it? Spring has started. What is it? Shift of the moon. The e e oh, Mercury retrograde. That's what I meant to say. Going through these in intense shifts. I mean, it's been messing with my sleep. I have not been able to sleep. I have to take sleep aids every few days just for me to be able to sleep because my mind is just constantly going. And it's like with everybody being asleep, I really can't do too much jumping around or singing or exercising and stuff like that. So it's just like I I'm just sitting up here counting sheep. Like watching the sheep or I'm watching YouTube or you know trying to do something on you know on my my videos so it's just been really in intense so it's just like the visions I'm getting especially the things I'm going on my personal note it's like I've been having to face each and everything that I've ever went through in time and it's like going through all these different things it, it, it's just been really crazy because it's like they're telling us, okay, why is everything being so intense? Why am I getting so crazy emotional? I can be fine one minute and then the next, you know, I'm angry, I'm agitated, or I'm crying a lot. Because it's just like dealing with everything I've had to deal with. And it's just like making me go back to my childhood, which I can't leave that child back, <laughs> you know, back in 1970s. Because it's just too much. And it's like it has me facing everything that my family has put me through. And it's just like today... It's like a push and pull factor. It's been pushing and pulling. Like, I'd be okay, and I'm just like, I'm done. And next thing you know, ego wants to come back in. I said, look, we are not talking anymore. Because you keep on wanting to take me back there. And I said, I don't have anything back there anymore. You know, that's my past. I'm leaving it alone. It's made me what I am today. So it's just like, I really had to call on the archangels today. I had to call on God, everybody. I had to pull in reinforcements. I said, please, can y'all take this away from me? Please, I'm not trying to live there no more. <laughs> I don't know why I keep on making me want to go back there. But I was like, I was getting frustrated with myself. Like, stop. And I, I'm like, be, Rosalind, be gentle with yourself. You know you gotta be gentle. And it's like, after that, it, I felt an uplift. 
I really felt an uplift because I know the other day I said, I am done. I am so done. And I was done. And then all of a sudden, ego want to keep talking. So it's just like going through all these different emotions. It's like we're going through those recyclements. Like I told the other day with the dimensions folding up and everything like that. It's like sucking up all these different energies. You might have headaches. Like I'm breaking out in rashes again. I'm like, Lord, no, please. <laughs> you know, I mean, looking like I got, you know, you can probably see these little lumps on me as red and I yeah you can probably yeah there you go right there see these little lumps on me and I'm just like what the heck is going on because I don't really be outside like that and I was going to go outside for the last two days and go on my nature walk and as soon as I finished my last video it was pouring down rain I'm like really this is the third day in a row we end up having rain in Georgia I said I got sick and tired of it because I'm ready to go outside but I was going to go take a nature walk this morning it was like, it felt like 80 some degrees outside. I said, the devil is alive. I ain't about to pass out out there. I'm not about to do that. <laughs> I was like, no. I said, I'm going to wait until it gets, you know, noon time where the sun sets a little bit and then I'm going to go outside and enjoy my nature walk. But going through all these different things, I've been trying to find healthy ways to occupy, occupy my time, you know, meditate, wipe down all the things that I'm trying to overcome, you know, that I'm still might be struggling with. You know, um, dealing with things in a totally different manner that I used to is very healthy for me right now. It's just like I used to want to vent and stuff like that. But it's like the uh, universe is cutting me off from a lot of people. So it's just the only time I talk is right here. So I don't really talk to many people. It's just like a lot of people I had to cut out my life because I was starting to see they were I was there for them and they weren't here for me. And there are cer certain people that I can respect the fact because they're going through other things right now, so they they have to be cut off. So I understand that. But there are some people I'm like, oh, you're mooching off of me because when I needed somebody to talk to, oh, they were totally, you know, oh, well, I got to do this. Oh, I'm, I'm like, okay, no problem. Block. <laughs> I was like, it is no problem with me. It is no problem. I said I will not. I will not lose a tear. I promise you I won't. So it was just like very therapeutic for me because it's just like you were there. You're supposed to be there in people's lives for a certain reason for a certain time. It's like time for you to part your ways. And I said, I have, I'm not messed up about it. I'm really not messed up about it. So it's just a blessing when I can get tested like that because there's times I really get pissed. And just like, you know, I've been there for this person. Be that, yeah, I said, you know what? God, thank you for revealing that to me so I can go ahead and cut that off. And they were like girl we so proud of you <laughs> and it's just like I kept it moving so it's just like right now if you're going through anything where it's making you you live your past all over again when it comes to your pain your trauma your abuse anything that you have ever went through in life you know I have pick you know just probably having you you know cut everything off it's a reason for that you know you, it, we're we're coming up to something that's coming up where everybody all these impacts are feeling something's brewing something's coming up we got to get ready it has you preparing yourself because it's like they need you on a different mindset than you were last year and the year before last week even yesterday they needed you on a better mindset elevating you you know you probably i i know i hear my grandmother i hear my mom i hear my two best friends that i lost and it's just like they're sending me so much love and energy ears been ringing like crazy you know and it's just like we're all it seems like a lot of my love bugs we're all in tune with each other like Rosalind you know I can sit up here I'm still tripping off of that time when I had something about that Archangel Michael and they were like Rosalind no you're not don't you did not just talk about that I was just having this issue I'm like look I'm not eavesdropping in nobody's house when creator, source, or God, or universe tells me to talk about these things, obviously it's something that somebody needs to hear. But it's just like we're all going through these hard times right now. Be gentle with yourself. Have patience. I keep telling myself that all the time. I'm a tourist. I, I don't have patience like that. But I had to master that. Because it's just like amazing. When you ask God for stuff, you got to you gotta be careful what you ask for. Because you ask for patience, they want to constantly, you're like, oh, she wants patience, let me put her in this, 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 this situation. Make you deal with these kind of people, these kind of people, this kind of people. You end up having patience. You know, you actually, you need, you need to have faith. You keep on praying for faith. They'll put things in your, your, your aspect of your life just to make sure that you will see that's only the universe is doing or this is God's doing and all these different precious things that you're coming in your life and it's just like lately things been popping off and I'm like oh, thank you thank you I'm, stuff has been coming up and I, I'm so grateful for that and, you know you make sure you, you 
you know, you, uh, you're grateful and say thank you to the creators and all that stuff. When you finally have those days where you're not pulling your hair out or you're about to snap, you know, those are the days we really need to truly cherish. We still need to cherish the bad days, but we need to cherish the uh, good ones as well because, we, you know, when we ask for it, we tend to get it sometimes. You, you know, you tend to get it sometimes, but... We're going through these things for a reason. They need us to be able to clear our plates and stuff like that. Because like I told you, generational curses and karmatic cycles are getting cut off. So everything is seeming pretty intense right now. So just chill. You know, meditate when you can. Drink a lot of water. Try to get some sleep. I'm going to try to get myself some sleep. But I don't go to bed until like yesterday. I just went to bed at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm just laying there like, I'm so tired. I want to go to sleep. But then I woke up at 7.45 this morning, so I only had like three hours of sleep. So I'm sitting up here drinking a monster drink so I can get these videos done because, they, you know, I said, I asked Greta, can I please just give me an energy drink so I can get these videos out <coughs> and tell what I need to tell. Excuse me. But yes, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I said 11.11. Y'all make a wish. And um, I hope everybody's having a blessed week. We're almost over this week. It's hump day. And it's, I got my shirt on a slate all day. You you know, it's hump day. So, I hope y'all having a blessed day. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly loved, forever favored. And I'm always praying, uh, praying, praying for the best days for you. So, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all be safe, be responsible, whatever you got to do. Send out as much love and light and blessings as you possibly can. You never know. Kind words can really go a long way for someone. And my shout out goes to Learning to Love with Laura Ora and Elena Carter. Much love to you. She's new to the uh, new to the channel. Much love to y'all. Many blessings, and I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace. Be wild.